so um, I felt like laughing, guys. You want to laugh? Yeah, me too. I was already talking about this, but every time these come up, I'm going to start turning on the camera. Though. I won't have to go back in what I said because it'll come up again. But going forward, there's pretext that so many did not hear. Good for some. Others get mad hearing it. It may not resonate. Oh, did you know? You obviously haven't healed, and that was the point of me saying it. <clears throat> there are people that do watch these. That's healthy. I watch them for me. They help me. I have adult Asperger's. My name is E. And it's not trending or popular. So people just kind of push it away and make fun of it. And I'm used to bullies, though. I grew up being, quote unquote, a bully and bullied. Let me get this right. Did you? I like my t shirt. They don't need to be looking right there. Not cool. So, don't care what my hair looks like. It looks good. I didn't have hair a couple years ago. Short, short, short. Now I have waist length hair. I'm going to play in it. But the systems have changed a lot. So, um, the energy that is sent out needs to be at the highest vibrational love so that the patriarch knows how incredibly brilliant they are and remembers that. The patriarchal model for education uh, it's helped us build quite a bit. It started the age of suppositions, also the age of apologetics, 5 BC, age of suppositions, 5 BC. Um, it was after the telepathic clairvoyance age, privacy, discretion. It was the privacy and the discretion of knowing that you could turn it all off. Ah, but the knowledge of good and evil says two things. Uh, it says once you know something else, or you've recorded it with your ears or your eyes, yada yada, you cannot unforget it. Never. But you must do the work to remember that. Congratulations. It takes you a lifetime. Men should not be toiling lifetimes, 85, 75, 35, 19, 9 years old and still working on why he's short, but trying to enjoy his midget life because he's already an adult in a 9 year old body. Like, don't explain why you're 3 years old and you get off the toilet and you're a man. Really? No? How's that fair? How's that fair? How? How? I'm supposed to get these things called childhood days where you get to watch and enjoy somebody watching their childhood, right? I was a great auntie. <laughs> but they always told auntie everything, though. That was the hard part babies just telling it I get to be the auntie <laughs> I get to be the auntie yay <laughs> it's the goober in me went to the grocery store and found um, uh, the the Usually when I go to grocery shopping, and it used to be like this for clothes. I didn't do this with my groceries. I always had this backlog. 
and it took me a while to be okay to stop and count what I'm doing in the basket. And I used to do it all the time and had no problems, shop as long as I felt like it. But I didn't also, I didn't think about it though. I wasn't worried about what everybody was looking at me and doing. Blah, 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 blah. I wasn't worried about nothing. I'm in my food basket, figuring out what it is that I want and I don't want. But back then it was like, this is the little pocket that I'm trying to stay in. Look at what you really don't want before you get too far away from putting it back. When it's you and somebody put something that's not in this space and it's all the way over there, you're mad. Don't do it to them. Oh, they work here. Be a server at IHOP. Go. That's you. Or a greeter at Walmart. Yeah, that's you. That attitude, whoever that is, that's you. You're going to be pissed off when it happens, but grateful for the gift. It'll open you up right in your heart, and you're, all of a sudden, you're not even the same person no more. But you're going to hate it, unless you don't hate yourself. Get to work. You hear how insulting that sentence is? You should already have been working. Or you should already come up with the sentence, I am working. And get you. Good. I'm glad you felt like that. You're supposed to feel like that, that you are putting in the work. Hug yourself. Goodness. People are so weird. I'm like, put on glasses and hide my face. Did it work? No. Okay. Well. I'm over here. So, uh, happy to see that the, 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 because there's a, there's now, there's, Now the balance is here. The system set balance back out again. We went from being in a completely patriarchal educational system, industrial, commercialized, okay? Being very, get ready, this is what you're doing. Your career should be work, 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 work. So the systems like that were built. Now, I was not built like that. I'm hugging myself somewhere over here, so. And I still feel like, so, um, but the systems were built like this, and the age of supposition is very beautiful as a patriarchal age, educational system, started at 5 BC, it's the age of apologetics as well, but there's a reason why, and I'm always talking about it, so just peep it when it comes up. Um, I am going to start turning on the camera when these happen. All the nuggets, and I'm like, you could have recorded it. I'm like, I know we were prepared it better this time. What? I know somebody took out their hair. And I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. Oh, it's a pretty story. You come out of the fog and you realize what people think about you. They think that you're some sort of prostitute running around in circles or something like that. And I'm like, do you know that I don't disrespect the career, but I've never been a prostitute? I can count all 22 men that I've slept with in my entire lifetime. I was with one man for almost seven years. Thought he was my husband. No, marriage don't mean that somebody else is married to you. 
it's a it's a change it's a choice it's a change it's a lifestyle difference you're including other people one other person to start with your best friend mm. and then y'all go from there and start including more people together <laughs> this way it's supposed to be it's your best friend that's to be the one with all your secrets and documents you want to tell some more secrets to more people you better have them You better have them. You better give birth to them. Why? Because it is their birthright for you to tell them first. <laughs> you tell them first. Not everybody. This is not everybody's birthright. This is y'all have had a whole child and that child gets to hear it first. Not everybody else and your child is left to plead with who the fuck am I? This is, this is definitely unadulterated speak, but that is an adulterated word. Scooper, a shaker, a dipper, <laughs> dude. It's okay. For the texture of what I'm doing, oh, I need to explain this one. I don't care about getting distracted by my food, by the way. The patriarchal education system was gorgeous. And as the matriarchal education system kind of marries back into it, where it's a little more balanced, they really do need to be hugged and reminded that you don't need to have done 85 years of just busy work. I see you focusing on yourselves. Hugging yourselves. And realizing how genius y'all are, but you didn't need to do 85 years of no busy work. You should have been focusing somewhere in there on yourself, but not for pleasure. You should have been focusing on your inner heart. Most of y'all figuring that in now. Okay, this say real cuckoo, but let me read this. This has coconut, the first ingredient, okay? Thank you, appreciate that. So. Here's what I'm thinking. The texture would make this important. <clears throat> the coconut, sugar, glycerol, salt, mono and diglycerides, sodium alginate, sodium alginate. Uh, very and I mean like it's got only a little to make it firm or jelly like uh gel like not jelly the texture is a through and through so gel like toothpaste and you squeeze it that would be sodium alginate but it's not gonna, it's not gonna dry. Well, it will, it's toothpaste, but, but anything oxidizes on the outside, but, but this is meant to stay at a specific consistency during most of its time in a range of temperatures that it's gonna stay like that. If it were to get frozen, it might have too much water and become brick. And if it gets too hot, it might explode. So, uh, you keep it, it keep thinking that st it, statistically it would be at a certain range on shelves and in homes so like from all the way down to 45 degrees all the way up to maybe a hundred degrees 120 degrees now sweltering in a lot of areas delivery on a truck is it get palleted? Is it getting stored somewhere in a refrigerated or non-refrigerated, uh, whether reefer load or dry? 
Um, is it going to be drop and hook? Is it going to be something that's going to get jiggled and juggled around? Does it need to go by train instead? How fast do we need to get it here? Or is the truck still okay? And during what parts of the season do we need to be aware of having more trucks because of the accidentals? How are our drivers trained? We still got to deliver the food. That's just one company's aspects of it, though. They stare at that logistically and go, we have to build this so that they can build that. I don't want to build that. I'm going to build this. Right. They, they're highly needed together. Think about it. There's a train running in the background. He's delivering right now. What's in your wallet? You know what I mean? Type of feeling. How did you get it? A train probably brought it to you, or a truck, van, car, male guy, girl. Somebody brought it to you, or you wouldn't picked it up. No, somebody brought it to you so you could go pick it up. So you could go to that store. So you could go to the mail. So, there are specific reasons why this would need to go to shelf life and stability. <coughs> when you put it on a shelf in a normal home's pantry, so demographically by the district. If you guys don't do the census, they don't know your headcount exists. So your roads don't get fixed as easily or as fast. Jobs don't get the upgrades in career governmentally because they don't think there's anybody that lives there. There's 125,000 people in a specific city at any given time. Three of them took the census. What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> How many people are in that town over there? Three. Uh, that one has more people. Let's put our money over there first. And they, they'll be fine. They grow off the land. They eat the food on the... Find out that's the city that was smart enough, figured it out, and actually all of them got together and said... My vote counts. I'm sovereign as a, as a creature. I am going to vote for myself. Known Landians or unknown Landians alike, I am going to vote for myself. What does that mean? It means if I don't want to vote, I'm going to write down on a ballot that says, I am re okay refusing vote. Sign. Date. Put it in the box. It gets scanned just like everything else. There is never... A signature box on a Scantron card hasn't been in over 400 years. Why? Scantrons aren't 400 years old. Where's the signature box? The one that's supposed to allow you to just make sure that it's you. People keep saying, somebody else filled it in. If you sign it, and you've filled it in, and you put it in the machine, and that machine reads it, that you signed it, not fucking nothing else first, if you don't want to, but that you signed it. It also recognizes your signature. What happens then? The honesty and the transparency that we all ask for. If I don't feel like voting that year, I might sign a piece of Scantron with the box that scans it. You get a whole ballot in the mail, and guess what? It's like every other number. Huh? I have an extra ballot. I was surprised that I even got one. I was happy that I had one. I was happy because I could read it for myself. Like where it talks about indentured servitude in Omaha, Nebraska. What? That was on one of their ballots. Specifically like in the last two years, three years at least. Hold on. So, that's one of the 
ballot questions. Do you want to keep the 901C or 9013 or 9012C or 9123C? or some sort of addendum or in some sort of something in there that was like, yo, this been going on for a minute. Indentured servitude if you have a debt to somebody else and it is legal in the state of Omaha, Nebraska. Hold on. This is supposed to be the North, right? Mm -mm. Hold on. I remember how gorgeous Omaha is, so I need to keep my attitude to myself because it's mine. My... And I don't feel like Jerry. I think Omaha is gorgeous, but more like his people are very, they can be very healing as a people. They choose a really weird way of going about it, though. You ever been to Halloween Town? Yeah, it's, it's necessary. You need to go. People need to go to this place. It's just very old. You get to see the mud floods for yourself. The doors are like stories, eight, eight, nine stories. Like they dug out their whole city. And then there's still like eight or nine stories below. So like base level, street level. That building's got a garage. A door and a door, and they've of course bricked up where the door was in some spaces. And then there's a, but there's how are you supposed to get up there? That's not the whole garage on the wall. What would they fly? I'm sure they had a, a, a set of like the airplane hangers with it to sweep in and out just to get people on board. No, weirdos, we would have still had those to play with. If not advanced to them. Oh, okay. So what was it? They dug out their city, bro. Together. And they dug it out. And it was like stories. Eight, nine stories. But then you have seven, eight, nine, twelve stories deep. That aren't seen. Not to mention what is below them that hasn't been dug out. Skyscrapers. Made out of brick. What's a skyscraper? Exactly, this is Oklahoma, so. Yes, I'm going to say it. There's a 50 50, a balance, so like half of this is underground. And half of this is underground because of the tornadoes. This is Omaha, Nebraska. Describing. Oh, did I say Oklahoma? Okay, I'm describing Omaha, Nebraska. This is. <sighs> I was thinking Omaha. Anyway. So the buildings are just literally 50 50. Okay, now this is. I'm talking about Omaha. Like, there's so many different states, dude. Um, and it's got. A way for not only the wind, but the ice storms and the tornadoes. And um, it's right next to Iowa. So you get that brush of cold that's going in and it's blowing, bro. And you gotta imagine there might not have been an enormous amount of trees, or there might have been only trees. And so that's a lot of ice still. Keep warm, keep pantries. People might get stuck in there and have to live. And they got floors deep, you know, not so much flooding as much as it is like the ability to to bear the cold because of the range. So let me give you an example. South Omaha's Sarpy County. Okay, it's still developing. Douglas County has developed and is midtown area. Uh, where it's spread out and it's got multiple main streets that were once like small, small towns, uh, parishes, I'm going to say. They don't look like towns. They look like parishes. So like the main town might have St. Mary's Street right at the corners, Jackson to St. Mary's. 
um, is this cross wing. And it's just like a starfish. Okay. And what it does is it goes across in two bidirectional. So I'm not bidirectional. Uh, I'm I'm very pay attention to we step off the curb because <laughs> cars are big. <laughs> they don't always see you. Same reason I told you. But um, like you got the streets can move like this. And so there's an elementary school that's across the way. And then there's other buildings over there that, that people go to work to. So there's a light that's right there. Make it easy for them. Crossing it at this little area right here, this little junction. Unless you've been there, know there, or live there, you would not know that you could cross right there and not get hit by nothing. It looks that scary. It's like, now that has to be intimidating for tourists because they're like, Get the look on their faces, but the view, like whew, sunrise, is stunning, and sunset is bunkies in live music and the treehouse. So, you just can't not. Be grateful that you found this particular crosswing. It's like. Okay. So. But if you go directly across. It's got this one. And now they can come out. And choose to go. Left or right. Okay. And that is. Jackson. I want to say because St. Mary's is only one direction so they can come out literally